Sometimes science needs a little bit of time to reveal something more interesting. Discoveries often exist for centuries before we stumble across them and make sense of what we have found. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three interesting discoveries that were centuries old by the time they were revealed. NASA's satellite detects something mysterious in the Amazon. When we think of NASA's discoveries and work, more often than not we think of planets, space exploration and technology. We frequently fail to consider the work this technology can do for us here on Earth. Back in 1976, the NASA Landsat satellite captured a photograph that would spark decades of discussion, debate and speculation. The Landsat satellite photograph, filed under the memorable name CS11 32W0713, showed an image of southeast Peru, in the Madre de Dios region of the Amazon rainforest. This would be simply another routine photograph taken in orbit, archived as usual, except that the photo shows a series of mysterious dots, which began to raise questions. From the satellite image, the dots appear to be spaced out intentionally, symmetrically, and are linear and uniform, creating a cookie-cutter impression with their regularity. Two rows of four dots were visible. Many guessed these were a formation of pyramids, with at least eight near-identical structures all standing together. Many names were thrown towards these dots, including Pyramids of Paratuari, the Dots of Peru, and the Pyramids of Pantiacola. Despite the excited claim of pyramids being found, this was all speculation, with no confirmation and minimal details being visible in the satellite picture. Researchers and enthusiasts grew further intrigued by the possible pyramids, with many believing that they are close enough to the lost city of Paititi for there to be links to the city and its possible civilization, often believed to be Inca. Paititi is a supposed lost city, a society of legends. It is described as an ancient Incan metropolis and could be found east of the Andes, but is covered with the Peruvian and Brazilian rainforest. While searches for the city have not been successful, it has given researchers the chance to try to hunt down the pyramids of Paratuari too. Some, such as the president of the South American Explorers Club, Don Montague, believe the conjecture is nothing more than rumours, ideas and fantasies, labelling what some people had dubbed pyramids as simply odd geological formations. Many theorists continue to speculate, however, believing that the pyramids of Paratuari are indeed man-made and were built by an ancient civilization. The structure that may have provided more information could have been engulfed by the rainforest since its construction. Between the growth of vegetation and the long time period, this claim is not entirely implausible. A number of expeditions, adventures and missions had been set out aiming to uncover these pyramids, spanning 1984 to 2011, with little success. Gregory de Mengen led a large proportion of these expeditions, and whilst he did not find pyramids, these missions were not failures by any means. He found evidence of Inca people living in the area, including petroglyphs, paved roads, platforms and plazas. However, there was nothing found to suggest the dots in Landsat's image were man-made, nor that they were pyramids. Deamengian suggested that these so-called pyramids were actually made of sandstone and were natural, not man-made formations. The geographical term for this would be truncated rich spur, a natural formation that is essentially nature's pyramid. Similar discoveries were made by Deamengian in Rio Timpia. There are still whispers of the formation being pyramids today, with the documentary The Secret of the Incas covering a 2011 expedition to the pyramids of Paratuari. However, the most common modern consensus is simply that this is a natural formation, not one built by Inca populations. Rare, 1500-year-old painting of Jesus Christ found in an abandoned church in the Israeli desert. Whether you attend church regularly as a practicing Christian or your views of the religion have been shaped from the media or primary school church visits, many people have an image as to what Jesus looks like, ingrained in their minds. However, a painting from 1500 years ago may call that image into question. The Western media, in modern society and historically, 
Jesus Christ is often presented with long hair and a beard, among other traits. However, an early painting discovered in an ancient Israeli church presents a vastly different image. A team of archaeologists from the University of Haifa in Israel stumbled across this painting whilst conducting research in the Negev Desert, in the ruins of a Byzantine farming village. Emma Mayan Fanar, an art historian from the university, was present upon the discovery of the church painting. In an interview with Haaretz, an Israeli newspaper, she made this statement. I was there at the right time, at the right place, with the right angle of light, and suddenly I saw eyes, she continues, explaining that the image depicts Jesus at his baptism. Despite the classic Western expectations for Jesus to be portrayed as bearded with long hair, at no point do the Gospels offer a description of Jesus Christ. Furthermore, no known description exists in work developed later on. Instead, this popular image of Jesus, or rather any image seen, is an artistic interpretation and vision. Mayan Fanar said, when speaking to Haaretz, that in the past, Jesus has been shown with many different appearances, long hair, short hair, with a beard, without a beard, to name just a few variations. Apparently, by the 6th century, the image of Christ with long flowing locks and a beard had been shown as the most consistent representation, an image that has continued in Western cultures even into the 21st century. The image found in Israel is not overly clear, with sun exposure having impeded the clarity of the artwork. It holds rough outlines and small smears of colour, though many details have not stood the test of time since its estimated creation in the 6th century. The team of archaeologists say the church's image of Jesus shows him to have short curly hair, a prolonged face, large eyes and an elongated nose. According to the work published by the team in the journal Antiquity, it was fairly common for Christ to be represented as having short hair throughout Egypt and Syro-Palestine. However, this convention seemingly disappeared from the later Byzantine art. One reason for this is that during the early 8th century, it was outlawed to create religious images. This was one aspect of what would later be named the iconoclastic controversy, in which lots of Christians in the Byzantine Empire considered the creation of religious art equal to the worship of icons. This was illegal and prohibited by Emperor Leo III in 726 AD and remained as such until the mid-9th century. This adds to the value of this discovery, highlighting the rarity of an Israeli depiction of Christ in this time period. While we have no answers as to the true appearance of Christ, it certainly is fascinating to understand why certain depictions have arisen and become more popularized when they may just be deemed less accurate or on par with often unseen interpretations of Jesus. This interesting discovery is certainly an intriguing discussion point into modern understandings of religion. Five thousand year old penguin mummies found in Antarctica. We are aware of the devastating impact climate change is having upon our planet, though uncovering penguins that have passed away is one rather unanticipated consequence. Steve Emsley, a professor and ornithologist with the University of North Carolina, specializing in a daily penguin migration, heard that fresh penguin droppings, also known as guano, had been found on Cape Irizar by the Ross Sea in Antarctica. This was a surprising revelation to the Adelie expert, as the last time any penguins had been seen on Irizar was more than 120 years prior. Emsley knew the area was not ideal, as the snow concealed beaches and areas Adelie penguins would utilize. With a day spare on an Antarctic mission, Emsley's team went to probe further to see what they could find. Well, the team found much more than guano. The area was littered with bones and carcasses, some had experienced a sort of mummification due to the dry air, though others still had fresh skin and feathers suggesting a more recent death. Following this first glance, Emsley and his team thought that they may have missed a modern colony. However, in a surprising turn of events, radiocarbon dating revealed the intact carcasses were not as recent as they appeared. It is just that these bodies had only recently been exposed to the elements thanks to the snow that once covered them beginning to melt more rapidly. These penguins were placed between 800 and 5,000 years old, despite looking incredibly well preserved. Emsley says the area used to be a nesting ground, evidenced through the pebble mound nests found over the site. 
This also explains why such a high proportion of the remains belonged to chicks. The samples taken for research included eggshells, skin, feathers and bones, all of which helped to place these penguins on a timeline. 800 to 5,000 years is a broad time period to cover, though there is a reason for this lack of specificity. The research team explained in the journal Geology that Cape Irizar had been occupied at three separate, distinct times over this large period. Penguins typically return to the same location to nest each year, if the conditions allow it, though the Adelie penguins cannot use Cape Irizar in the 21st century due to steep ice cliffs, which is what made the seemingly fresh bodies utterly confusing to begin with. This discovery provides insight into penguin behaviours, whilst also serving as a reminder of the harsh impact climate change is having upon the planet. Sometimes discoveries take time to reveal themselves. In a few centuries' time, perhaps modern interpretations of art and satellite imagery will be considered ancient and noteworthy when found. But what do you make of these discoveries that have been revealed? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.